And here we have a lovely picture of Jedma Adazank herself in her pink party dress with her beautiful long black hair. And she is meeting the god Osiris, the god of the dead. And right above her head is her name, Jedma'at Yosank. Now this is a really nice name, but it tells a sad story. It means the goddess of truth has said she will live. And it seems to me that's the kind of name you get if your mother has lost other babies. And somehow the goddess said, you get to keep this one. And that's her name. I learned that they really want us to know about them and they want us to say their names. And that makes it really very special to study them. You're doing exactly what they wanted you to do. The inscriptions don't tell us anything about how she lived apart from her title. She's a lady of the house, which means she's a woman of property. We would probably say middle class. And she's a chantress of Amun, which means she sings at the temple. And she sings in a very jolly kind of choir with a lot of hand slapping and swaying and really loud and happy. That was what she did. Most ancient Egyptian coffins, like this one behind me, are made of wood. Jedma Adesank's coffin was something new at the time. This is the latest style. It's made of what we call cartonnage. And it's pretty much like a plaster cast on a broken arm. They would have made a dummy out of mud and sticks and wrapped around it torn up pieces of bed sheets and towels dipped in plaster. And when that was almost uh, dry, they would take the dummy out and put the mummy in. And then she'd be laced up the back. Now, because of that, you can't really open this kind of coffin up the way you can a wooden coffin. To open this up, you'd have to cut around the edges and destroy all these beautiful images. She was the first mummy in Canada, perhaps in the whole world, who'd had a CAT scan.